I'm from Karen. So Karen ha owned this ha house. You can see um, there's some heaving and settling with the uh, concrete outside. And there is a column inside that kind of, um, it's sunk over time because of a heavy piano that was sitting there. So there is some movement in this house, but nothing major. Uh, but we purchased this house and closed in five days. We went under contract with Karen, I believe it was last uh, Thursday. It was on the first, and then we closed on the uh, seventh, so six days, six days. So she got her cash wired into her bank account and was able to, to move quickly. She left everything she didn't want behind. Uh, we were able to pay her more than uh, anyone else? I know we met with her first, uh, oh, probably a month ago, and from there she had went under contract with uh, a couple, a couple wholesalers, and tried to go, tried to sell the property through a couple other routes, and then circled back to us um, when she finally understood that our cash offer that we were telling her was probably the most she could get, was the most she could get. Uh, so we we buy houses with cash, and because we we have our own in-house crews. Uh, that do the renovation and we have our own in-house brokerage that lists and sells the house afterwards, there's no middlemen and we can afford to pay more than our competitors. So we have an unfinished basement down here. I'll kind of show you where the, where the column that sunk. It's not a huge deal. It's, it's an easy thing to fix. Just this column, if you look close, uh, there's a gap here. It's not actually supporting this beam. So the beam has sunk some and it's because there was a huge grand piano sitting uh, right above us here. And the, the piano was gone, so it kind of eased up off of the beam and now uh, now it's still sagging some, but the column's not supporting it. So all we need to do is um, put in a new column, jack that beam back up to its normal place and problem will be solved. We'll walk around the rest of this house. So we gave Karen a couple options. We offered to buy her house with cash. That was the way for her to sell fast and just kind of be done with it and not have showings and not wait to find a buyer. And the other offer we gave Karen was to uh, do a fix and list where we put our money into Karen's house and fix it up just like uh, if we were to buy it, just, just like we are kind of now. We renovate it. And then she keeps the extra cash that we earn from from doing the renovation. But uh, the faster cash was more attractive to her, so that's the that's the route that we went. So you get the point. <laughs> this uh, nice nice home is going to be a great home for someone's family after it's all nice and fixed up again just needs some cosmetic work and a little uh, a column fixed in the basement so if you have a home and you'd like to find out how much we can give you both for a cash offer and how much we can get you if we fix up the house and resell it at the top of the market head on over to www.denverpropertyflip.com uh, it'll just ask you for your name, address, phone number. Uh, with that information, we can get back to you within uh, 24 hours and start to lay out some options uh, and see, see what's, what's best for you. So thanks for watching and I uh, look forward to another video of this property when it has been all renovated.